what's going on guys look at this beautiful oh my god it's absolutely gorgeous outside so it is supposed to be 80 degrees today crazy because next week goes back into the low 50s and uh then for the highs and the lows are like back in the 20s again so today uh instead of doing what i was going to do uh i'm sidetracked so i'm going to get the bike out and i'm going to get some wind therapy in and uh yeah but anyway before we jump into that uh before i go do that i got a got a story to tell you of how danny has messed up and uh i'm good at this i'm good at this so uh so let's jump into this and uh tell you what i did because it's just can't believe i did it all right, so we've had some great weather and then all of a sudden it drops back to freezing again and we get snow and then it seems like on a Sunday, Monday or a Monday and Tuesday, we get good weather. And then Wednesday or Wednesday and Thursday, uh, it goes into freeze mode again and we get all this snow. So we got some great weather and uh, I hooked the hose back up and I was doing something and I'm like, man, this does not feel like it has any pressure. Uh, oh, I was rinsing all the snow out of the garage um, and salt and stuff from the wife pulling her car in. And uh, so I said, this thing just, it don't have any pressure. What is going on? And so I thought that since we had just, you know, got over this freeze and the snow had pretty much melted, that it was just a, uh, piece of ice or something in the hose, you know? So I just, I threw the hose in the lawn and I let it run for like 10 minutes <laughs> and it don't get any better. And I'm thinking, what in the world is going on? So I finished rinsing out the garage and I shut the water off and I go downstairs and I talk to my wife and I'm telling her, I'm like, the, the pressure is crap on this hose. I don't know what's going on with it. I thought there was a piece of ice or something in it. So, you know, I'm walking on the hose uh, at one point trying to see and uh so i'm thinking i'm like i wonder and i walk in our storage room and there is water everywhere uh it's it's off now but there's water everywhere and i'm like oh my god <clears throat> so i tell her and we go and we move all the pictures and because she's got some pictures and stuff but most of our stuff's in totes, so it, you know, don't, didn't ruin anything. But there's water all filled up on top of the totes. The water's running down the wall. I mean, just water every freaking where. So what had happened was, we all know what happened. Uh, so I was an idiot and left the hose hooked up before the last snow storm. And, uh yeah so this is what we get this is my hose that goes into my house through my basement and uh oh stop this um and so there it is so this is you know this was literally right on the other side of the wall barely on the other side of the wall uh so like here's the wall and this is where it was and i was like what in the world and sure enough uh i busted the stupid line so I ended up, you know, getting water everywhere in our storage room. And uh, so we got that cleaned up and got this replaced. But uh, let me tell you something. If, uh, <clears throat> if you didn't know, uh, this is the main reason why you do not leave your hose uh, pipes or your garden hoses, whatever you call them, hooked up to your garden hose because it will back pressure into there. And even though, the opening for this valve is up here. Uh, it still kept water in there and it froze and expanded and busted this pipe open. So we had to replace that. And uh, luckily nothing got damaged, but just wanted to let you know the stupidity that, uh, you know, hey, I'm a, we all knew I wasn't very bright in the first place, but uh, yeah, so I, I ended up leaving it hooked up and uh, this is what it caused me. But. We got it fixed, got it replaced, and uh, move on with my life. Wife ain't too happy, but you know, hey, sometimes you learn. And uh, well, let's just say, I, I think I learned. We'll see if I do it again. 
uh, but, but I've never had this issue. I've never did something like this, but here we are. So uh, yeah, so we got it replaced and uh, you know checked it out, made sure everything was working properly and we're good to go. So now I've got a hose pipe again that I can wash the garage out and you know we can wash our cars and everything uh, because I wanted to wait for the, the warm weather to come through before we actually had this replaced. So uh, I didn't replace this. I had a, a guy come over that owns a you know plumbing company of course and take care of all of it. And because I personally don't know how to do pecs, I could have pulled this out and cut this, but uh, connecting it back, I don't have the, you know, the crimpers or anything to connect the pecs. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. We've also got the new uh, Milwaukee underbody light that I will be showing you. This thing is going to be totally awesome for everything because I could have really used this for so many things, especially when I redid the whole front end on the truck. Uh, it would have came great and handy for uh, seeing behind the lights and stuff like that. So I didn't have to hold a flashlight like this, but uh, they've also announced that they have a M18 air inflator coming out. I think it goes to 150 PSI. So we're gonna to try to get our hands on that and give y'all some information on that, show you how quick, because if it's anything like they say, it's gonna be phenomenal, it's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to uh, see if I can get my hands on that. If not, may end up having to just buy one uh, and show you anyway, because I'm pretty excited, pretty stoked about that. I'm being lazy with this thing. I still need to change the hydro fluid on it. Uh, and then uh you know i've got to get this bad boy out see what it's capable of once the season gets going but i need to get the hydro fluid done on this and uh that's probably going to be later this week when the weather is not nice because i mean i've been stuck inside so getting the bike out is definitely uh, my my priority right now back to the motorcycle we're going to take it in i've got to take it to harley uh, i've got to get the 30,000 mile service set up for it and i need to have the the front brakes are fine but there's a clicking noise so uh um <clears throat> i'm going to take it up there have them look at it just to make sure there's no issues with that but uh yeah and it needs completely it's filthy it needs washed bad so may have, may come home today and uh, wash it, but probably not because they're going to come pick it up for the 30,000 mile service later on this week. Uh, so I can, you know, once again, once we get the wheel checked out, make sure there's no issues there. But uh, we're going to schedule that and get that done and out of the way and get ready for riding season coming up. But absolutely gorgeous day today. Uh, you know what this means? It's it's 80 degrees. Uh, it's probably 70 out here right now. I mean, it's a little windy, about 10 mile an hour winds, <coughs> but it is absolutely gorgeous. So uh, we're going to get everything set up, get everything uh, done, and take the bike out, move on with our day, learn from our mistakes of messing the hose up. And uh, yeah, so I hope everybody has a good week uh you know 50 degrees man uh for the the lows and and this 70 degree weather it's going to make the soil temps go up but then you know after we're supposed to get rain uh saturday sunday then snow monday again and then we're back into the 50s for a high and back into the 20s as a low so it's definitely coming but it seems like it's going to be probably toward the end of march uh or you know april time before we actually get out here and get to mowing uh so anyway that's going to do it for this video don't forget to like comment subscribe i will see you in the next one